In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, it's always a wonderful thing when we come to a church and to offer a day of prayer and, and thanksgiving to our Blessed Lady. And a day with Mary each Saturday gives us that wonderful opportunity to honour her. <coughs> Some people in our parish recently went on a pilgrimage to Fatima. And um, it was a wonderful experience because we actually saw the pilgrim statue in Fatima which goes all around the world and then the actual statue which is crowned with many jewels and has the bullet of Pope John Paul II um, in it, the man who tried to shoot him and he uh, gave his, the bullet to the sanctuary of Fatima. And when you go to, to Fatima you realize uh, a presence of, of, our, of Our Lady there very strongly, very profoundly. We see that um, the whole mystery of Fatima really is wrapped up with the Catholic faith in, in such a very profound way, so to say. The first revelation of, was the angel appearing to the children um, a year before the actual apparitions when the angel sh showed the children the, the Holy Eucharist and the chalice um, where the blood was being poured into the chalice. And then a the year later, Our Lady appears to those three wonderful children and professes so much solid Catholic doctrine. The doctrine of uh, about the importance of consecration, consecrating the world to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. The doctrine about hell the Catholic doctrine about praying for the conversion of others and, and doing penances for people, especially ardent sinners. The doctrine about um, the whole, I suppose, the whole mystical body of Christ in a way, the, the first Saturday's devotions, the, um, the importance for us to, to love Christ, to have devotion to Our Lady and to stop the spread of communist atheism being spread throughout the world. Now there's a big debate of whether some, all of our wishes of Our Lady were, were, um, were fulfilled or not, and with, with the three secrets, but the main thing is that the whole of Fatima really is telling us very profoundly about what we believe as Catholics these essential things of, Catholic, of our Catholic faith. The importance to really, for, make, for each one of us to pray that for people who might be on the road to hell. And our prayers and our penances will help them and, and, and possibly save them from that. And uh, we know how, how, how common that is in, in, in all aspects, in all parishes, in all our families, we see people who maybe have fallen away from the faith and uh, rejected it. And so Our Lady tells us to pray the rosary especially for them, but also to do penances and, and, and prayers for their conversion and our own conversions as well. And so in wrapped up in the whole message of Fatima is really profound Catholic doctrine in, in which we're it's meant to think about and bring into our individual lives. So like if we don't pray our daily rosary, we're not taking the, the message of Fatima seriously at all. If we don't believe in hell, say, or if we don't want to offer prayers and penances for the conversion of others, we're, we're just ignoring everything Our Lady said in Fatima. So today we can ask that we may be able to um, fulfill those, the wishes of Our Lady when she went to Fatima to ask her to help us, our own individual families, especially those people who don't pray in our families, don't go to Mass, don't believe in God and uh, pray for their conversions. And in our own parishes as well, 
many people are like that, that, that as well. So there's lots of people who are in need of our prayers, lots of people who are in need of our penances and uh, acts of, you know, good acts for their conversions. So today maybe in, it's an opportunity to offer all our prayers, our intentions, our rosaries for the conversion of people who have fallen away from the faith, that God, God may bring them back through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.